Week one is the first seven days from your last menstrual period. During this week, the ovule is growing and have not been released yet. In week two, the egg is now mature and now it is time for it to be released. The ovule waits for a while before being fertilized. This is the time when you do your sexual intercourse that will result in pregnancy. A man releases millions of sperm in your body and among these, the egg will choose only one sperm among the firstest, strongest, the most competitive to fertilize it and form the first cell of a new human being which is called zygote. The remaining sperms are automatically blocked and dies thereafter. Your baby is now formed and the zygote starts multiple cell divisions. We are now in week 3. As cell divisions go on, the zygote is now moving slowly through the fallopian tubes toward the uterus and finally find a suitable area in the uterine lining for implantation. The now called blastocyst insert itself deep into the endometrium and they continue growing from there. All the information concerning the future appearance and all the details including whether it's a he or a she, white or black, tall or short, color of the eyes and hairs, all this information is stored in this tiny little creature now about the size of a tip of the pin. During week 4, meaning 2 weeks after fertilization, as the zygote grows further, it now starts shaping itself in a fetal-like organism called embryo. The embryo starts forming a bilaminous cell layer, the epiblast on top, the hypoblast below. A cleavage forms miraculously from the center of the epiblast cell and marks a cranial end and the coda end of the developing embryo. Then the two layers separate and the new cell layer is rapidly formed in between, resulting in a trilaminar disc of three cell layers. The endoderm, downward, are the cells that will make intestines, thyroid, liver, stomach, and pancreas. Mesoderm, in between, containing cells that will make the muscles, bones, kidneys, and vessels. While the ectoderm, upward, is composed of cells that will give the brain, the skin, hairs, and nerves. The three-layered organism undergoes a series of programmed folding, during which the endoderm squeezes to form bowls, the mesoderm enlarging to cover the rest, while the ectoderm rolls to form a tube that will form the brain at the cranial end and the spinal cord as well. Small buddings occur where some different organs will rise from. This process is called gastrulation followed by folding. The seven-day process during week four results in an embryo that looks like this. However, the real size of it is comparable to that of a poppy seed. This continues to grow rapidly and shaping itself more and more. At week 5, the embryo is still too small but now the size of an orange seed. Even if the embryo is so tiny, the ultrasound can identify the gestational sac at this stage. At week 6, the cranial part has fused and started generating the brain stem. The embryo is curved and has a long tail. In addition, the heart has formed and started beating. This time, the embryonic heart is so fast that it doubles the rate of an adult human heart. At week 7, some parts have started being formed such as eyes, mouths and ears, and the limb birds are appearing. The tail is now decreasing and soon to will disappear. The brain is growing first and some senses started working. Meanwhile, you, the mother, are feeling tired with some breast tenderness, emotional changes, without the other signs of pregnancy. At week 8, the embryo is still growing on. It is now four times the size they had two weeks ago and is now the size of a bean. But a close look shows clearly differentiated tiny baby, eyes, nose, ears and hands are becoming more and more clear and the heart is beating stronger. During week 9, the embryo is now the size of a fig with about 3 cm. Internal reproductive organs have started to form, kidneys, liver and spleen start growing while the bones are being shaped inside the body. At this time, the head is twice bigger than the rest of the body. Fingers and tools are now becoming more and more demarcated. This is the time that you are saying that you have two months pregnancy. At week 10, the embryo now has grown and can be called fetus. The fingers are becoming clear, bones start to calcify, and you can now see the ears already formed. The kidneys start working and filtering that the baby can now urinate in the amniotic fluids that surround him. The brain is growing and neurons are creating more and more connections. At week 11, that's when the fetus starts breathing. 
When he breathes, the amniotic fluid enters the lungs to deform the respiratory tract to open the alveoli. The fetus also swallows the fluids which is absorbed in the intestines and through the circulation will be filtered by the kidneys and the fetus will urinate back into the amniotic fluid thus maintaining the normal quantity of the amniotic fluids. At week 12, the fetus has now remarkably grown bigger. It measures 8 cm now, about the size of an apple. At the same time, you, the mother, are observing changes in your skin color, but nausea and malaise is now decreasing a little bit. At this time, the baby has all the organs already formed and remaining the time for weight gain and maturity of different organs. The fetus have started to make movements, but you cannot feel it since the fetus is still fragile and small enough. At week 13, the eyes have appeared, but not yet open. He can open and close the hands. The arms are now more developed than the legs, and the balance will be achieved in the coming weeks. The fetus is now taking the shape of a human being. Here you have a three months pregnancy. You are supposed to go to your first antenatal care before the baby arrives at this stage. At week 14, all the organs are formed. If she is a girl, the ovaries are now formed and are descending to their future position. Your baby is leaping and bounding inside your, bo your body. The neck is getting longer, helping her head to stand more erect. At week 15, the body of the fetus has started being covered with fine soft hairs, helping to maintain normal temperature inside the womb. This is not like usual adult hairs, and they will fall out a little while before birth. These hairs are called lanugo. The hands are taking shape, eyes are still short, but the fetus can now sense slight changes and can react accordingly. At week 16, the baby is about the size of an avocado, with 12 cm length. Bones are now stronger except from the skull bones, which remain softer and unfused until birth. They have to be so they can fit through the birth canal at the time of delivery. The skin is still thin and transparent, and you can easily see growing vessels through this tiny skin. We are now week 17, you have a 4 months pregnancy. The hands are taking shape. The baby is approximately the same size as the placenta and the umbilical cord is now completely grown, delivering a delicate amount of oxygen and nutrients necessary for the baby growth. At week 18, the ears are now apparent and the ability to hear have been developed so that the baby can hear some sounds. The fetus have started following your conversations and is learning to notice your voice and he remarkably can react to noises. The sex is now formed and visible, but it will be preferable to wait for two weeks more for the doctor to detect it with an ultrasound during the nearest antenatal care visit. At week 19, the skin of your baby have started being covered with a thick, white, wax-like coating called vernix caseosa. This protects the baby skin and helps keeping the baby warm during climate changes. You will see that thick covering on the skin of the baby at the time of delivery. This is usually swept out during the first chaos after birth. At week 20, the baby is getting stronger so that you will probably feel his first kicks during this time. Hairs are formed, eyebrows are visible now, in general the baby is taking the look of a full grown baby, even if she is still gaining weight. Your doctor can now easily see the sex during an ultrasound scan. At week 21, the baby have grown stronger, even if the placenta is still delivering the majority of the baby's nutrients. The baby's digestive system have started developing and maturing. The baby swallowed the amniotic fluid, and since the body has started producing some digestive enzymes, the digestion takes place and some nutrients are absorbed. However, the baby can never pass through during the stay in the womb. The water is absorbed and excreted through the kidneys when the baby urinates, but the rest of the waste remains in the large intestines until birth when the baby will pass what is called meconium, a dark green colored thick excretion from the baby's anus at the time of birth. But the baby is now growing bigger as you have a 5 months pregnancy. The uterus has expanded and causes your bump to start growing. At this time it is more apparent to your friends that you are pregnant. You have started feeling some cramps and sometimes leg swelling. At week 22, the baby's skin starts becoming pigmented. The baby have started touching things around. He or she come to 
water one hand with the other, touch his own feet, can move hands freely, and can sometimes grasp the umbilical cord taking pleasure to feel the shape of different objects. Hairs have grown, even if some babies may grow little hairs on their head depending on the genetics. During week 23, the baby's brain and lungs continue to grow rapidly. At week 24, the baby is growing bulkier, measuring 30 centimeters from head to feet and about 600 grams of weight. Hearing is more fine. The baby is listening to sounds from inside and outside the mother's womb and reacts accordingly by his movements. He can now recognize her mother's voice that he have been hearing from some previous weeks before. At week 25, intestines are now mature and working well. The wrinkles on the body of the baby are disappearing as he gets more and more bulky. We are now at week 26 with a 6 month pregnancy. The baby has now developed his own sleeping pattern. You will be lucky if he sleeps at the same time as yourself, otherwise you can get kicks while you are sleeping. Week 27, the baby starts having some hiccups as the developing diaphragm contracts involuntarily. You can feel this as a rhythmic twitching or a kind of vibration, a little different from the usual kicks you are used to. At week 27, the baby's eyes are completely grown and now opens at the first time. At week 29, the baby is growing and gaining weight. The height is near the size of a full-time baby, but he still measures around 1 kg. All the senses are now developed. The baby can differentiate sounds, can see change of the light, can like or dislike some things, and show it by reacting with certain movements as by kicking you when you switch on the room right or when you switch on the radio. It is week 30. Now you have a 7 months pregnancy. The baby is putting on weight, gaining around 400 grams per week. During the past 2 months, he has put on about 2 kg. The subcutaneous fat are forming now and the baby gets back here. As he gets bigger and have less room for movements, you may probably feel less kicks as usual, but don't panic this is normal. However, if you feel no movement at all for a prolonged period, this may indicate that something wrong has happened to your baby. It is wise to consult your doctor if this happens. Week 31, the baby continues gaining weight and stretching more. The reproductive organs are becoming more and more differentiated and getting mature. Week 32, at this time the baby is ready for the life outside her mother's womb. He can survive if he gets out now. However, the brain and lungs are still developing and will be ready for the coming weeks. A premature baby born at the 32 weeks of pregnancy or after has a higher chance to survive without having remarkable sequelae in the future. At week 33, the baby is growing bigger and the uterus is getting heavier to support. A Braxton Hicks contraction have started and you are feeling them as some tightening in the lower abdomen that comes and go. Means your body is preparing for real contractions. You may feel heart burns at this time and probably you also have your legs swollen and sometimes you can even develop hemorrhoids. These are common pregnancy symptoms at this stage if you are experiencing them now. If you feel no movement from your baby, you can try to make him move by putting a torch on your baby or pressing through the abdomen and even eating some sugar since he can taste it in the amniotic fluid in a few seconds. At week 34, the pregnancy is around 8 months. The baby measures the baby measures 45 centimeters from the head to feet as big as a pineapple. He is preparing to go out in just a few weeks ahead. He has already turned his head down now in cephalic position. The very the on the skin is thick now and this will help to sleep from the birth canal with sufficient replication to avoid the skin scratch during delivery. At week 35, the baby is now around 2.5 kg. The head is getting more impacted in the thigh. Taking a good position for birth, head down, legs up, the baby is back facing your abdominal wall and the baby is front facing your back. This is the best position for birth without complications. If the baby is still in a bridge or transverse position now, the chances of the position being reversed afterward are very little. At week 36, you feel more pressure in the thigh, but you are relieved in the stomach as the baby's head settles down to the pelvis. You will be having frequent urination and sometimes some urine leaking. This is because of the pressure applied to your bladder by the baby's head. Braxton Hicks contraction are becoming more frequent now and you have trouble sleeping because of increasing shortness of breath and abdominal fullness. This is now week 37 and now your baby is almost full grown. We call it 
full term. He's no longer a premature if he is born now. He weights around 3 kg now and is already in cephalic position. If you have twins, you will probably have a cesarean section around this time. So you can check your doctor now. During this time, maternal antibodies are transferred to the baby through the placenta, passing through the fully developed umbilical cord, supporting the baby's immune system to get ready for fighting infections at the time of birth. At week 38, all the baby's organs are now working well. The lungs and all the abdominal organs are fully grown and the brain is quite well developed. The baby is now ready and you can start labor at any time. Do not worry, now the baby is completely mature and they still have only two weeks to go. At week 39, the baby is ready, only one week left. I hope you have arranged all that you will need when you go to labor in your small baby suitcase, ready to go at any time. You can even go to your last ultrasound and your doctor will check out the baby position to prepare and plan for your baby's delivery. At week 40, you now can go in labor at any time. If this is your first time, let me explain. You will feel a strong cramping in the abdomen, groin and back, as well as an itchy feeling perceived as a very strong pain, which lasts for around 30 seconds and goes away, retaking again and again every few minutes. Those are contractions. You will probably need more explanation. Please do subscribe to this channel since I've got plenty of videos on the subject. If labor does not come at the expected time, you can still wait for a few days more, but not later than one week after the due date. If you have questions or need clarification on what I said, send me a text on WhatsApp number. I'm ready to answer your questions. I'm Dr. Alistair Muganga. Thank you for following us. In the next video, I will show you how the baby is delivered through the birth canal when the time arrives.